Today we're going to be looking at a distribution of Linux to live CD called Slitaz, I believe is how you pronounce it. It is French, I believe. Slitaz is a very small distribution of Linux. It runs as a live CD, but can also be installed to your hard drive. It is under 30 megabytes. Uh, so I think it's like 28 or 29 megabytes. Uh, when you're booting it from a live CD, by default, it will copy itself completely to RAM, which doesn't take so too long since it's so small. Even uncompressed, it's probably under 90 megabytes. Uh, right now, I'm running it in a virtual box that has 256 megabytes of RAM. And uh, you'll be surprised on what you can fit in under 30 megabytes. So when you're booting, one of the first things I'll ask you is um, what language? I'm going to pick English. Keyboard type all the way down at the end is uh, USA, so I'm going to choose that. And then video resolution, you can try the highest, but uh, I know that uh, 1280 by 1024 is best for the screen I'm working in now. So it starts up and you get a full desktop. And uh, we'll start, we get some icons on a desktop here. Uh, starting at the, your panel down here at the bottom, you have a clock to the right. You got a little system process uh, monitor here, network uh, manager right there, volume right there. You have two workspaces by default, although you can up that and add more if you'd like. The newest version that I'm running, uh, which is version, I want to say 2.5, I don't remember. But the newest version is does have Firefox 3.5 on it, which is the newest version of Firefox. We will close that. You see you have your terminal here and a file manager. Also, we've got on the screen here uh, under our menu, we've got some developmental tools and some examples of dialog boxes. This is great for you if you're trying to learn how to program on uh, low system resources. These are good examples for you to look at. Documents is just mainly manuals and licensing. Um, the only game that's got installed is Sudoku, which if you like those puzzles, there it is. Under graphics, we've got a color selector to select colors, a screen grabber, which also, after it grabs the screen, automatically opens uh, the image up in this paint program here, which is a simple paint program, uh, which you can draw with and do different things with. Uh, also under graphics, we have an image viewer. I don't have any v images to show you because I'm running a live CD here, but that's the viewer right there. As I said, we've got Firefox installed, 3.5 under internet. We also have GRSync, which is a graphic user interface for RSync, which is for backing up your files either locally or to a remote location. Local port scan will run a port scan on the, your machine, uh, and so you can just do a security check on it. You also have a very small uh, IRC client here if you like to chat in IRCs. Uh, you have both these tools here. Uh, secure copy and secure shell, which are just front ends for command line stuff for connecting to remote, mach remote machines and copying files securely uh, across the network. Uh, you also have transmissions, which is a BitTorrent client if you like downloading BitTorrents. And GFTP, which is an FTP client if you need to connect to an FTP server and download files. Under Office, we have a program for organizing your notes an organizer which has a calendar, task list, uh, contacts, and a notes uh, section. We also have um, a PDF viewer which is actually a web-based PDF viewer and a SQL engine and a link to Wikipedia. Under preferences we have stuff that you can change your passwords, uh, change the appearance of your desktop, decide what applications auto start when you install it to your hard drive, change your wallpaper, change your desktop icons, favorite applications, keyboard mapping, uh, your desktop configurations, shell profile, change the system language and set X defaults back uh, to how they were. Under system tools, we've got a program for creating bootable floppies and CDs, a network manager, a uh, control box, which is like a control panel, uh, Gparted, which is for partitioning and formatting uh, your hard drive. Hardware detection for detecting new hardware. Uh, Windows Driver Manager in case you need to run wireless drivers uh, from Windows in Linux. Mounting uh, devices, if, if, if you put in a CD or a flash drive and it hasn't mounted, you can use that to mount it. Uh, file Manager, which I've already shown you. You've got Package Manager, both a graphic user interface and a command line version. Uh, uh, program to show you your boot log, 
uh, Slitaz installer. So if you want to install it to your hard drive, uh, this will go through your formatting your hard drive and installing Slitza to your hard drive. Uh, some of these programs in here will ask you for a password. If you're running a live CD, it automatically puts the password in there for you by default. It's root. Once you install it to your hard drive, you'll create a new root password. Uh, you can click on this to see system information. Uh, you also have um, uh, tools here to create a live CD or a live USB flash drive if you want to boot off a flash drive. Uh, and then you got your task manager here and top which is a task manager for the command line. And you also have your wireless connections which I don't have a wireless card on this machine right now. So, uh, And then under utilities we've got a program for burning CDs. We've also got uh, a program for creating ISO images for CDs. Uh, we've got a notepad editor. We've also got a text editor for command line, nano here. And we've got a scientific calculator. We've also got a program to search files and folders. We've got your archive manager here, which is for working with zip files and other compressed files. Your terminal and even a sticky notepad for leaving yourself notes up on your screen. So you can see we've got a lot of programs open. I didn't even open up everything that's available. I'm going to close a bunch of these. And now we're going to look at what's also available um, that may not be installed by default. So we're going to go back into System Tools and we'll go to our Package Manager here. Click OK there. And you'll see by default that there's 190 programs installed. If we hit Recharge List, it will start looking through uh, the available packages on their repository servers. And you'll see that when it is um, complete, that there's going to be just under 2,000 installable applications that aren't installed. It's like 1,900. It's going to come up here in a second. Uh, overall, there's over 2,100, over 2,100 available programs for uh, this distribution of Linux. Uh, once it repopulates the list here, there we go, 1,936 applications are able to be installed that aren't already installed. I'm going to go to search here, and I'm going to search for Flash, and I'll just click on Packages here. Packages will be a quicker search. It's going to search the, the main part of the package. Files will search the files within the package for that word. And it um, gives it time. It's got a lot to go through. It's got to scan through over 2,000 packages. But shortly here, it will come up with Flash so that we can install Flash so we can view YouTube videos uh, and other Flash applications on, uh, on in Firefox. So we double click that. I'll click Install and it will start downloading and then in a moment it will ask me if I want to install the um, what's the word I'm looking for the uh, other packages that are required required packages to go along with it uh, and you just hit yes for each of these and I am running low on time I've got less than two minutes here to finish up this video but I think we'll get that done uh, older versions of Slitza had an issue with the Flash. It would download the package but install it to the wrong folder and I would have to manually copy it over. But with this uh, newest version of Slitaz, it does it properly. And I'll go to YouTube now. And you'll see that up at the top we have a Flash advertisement here. I'll just click on a random video here and you'll see the video start up. So we've got Flash installed. That's install how you install the packages. Hope you enjoyed this look at Slitaz. I hope you give it a try. It is amazing what they fit into, like I said, under 30 megabytes. And it's great for old machines, and it's great that it automatically copies to your RAM so you can take the CD out and use the CD-ROM drive. And as soon as you restart your machine, it's like it was never there. So visit Films by Chris for more videos like this. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.